Hi, everyone. Um, so we're just starting. Great. Our session today is about orchestrating hybrid microservices with Kubernetes on OpenStack. We're uh, from Gigaspaces, Cloudify. I'm Sivan, and this is Ron. And we'll just get started. So um, we heard a lot this morning about trends in the cloud environment and about how microservices are picking up. Kubernetes is uh, often used to manage them. We're talking about Linux containers, orchestrator, authored by Google, open source, uh, quite popular. And it has quite a few cool features. So you can do uh, load balancing with it, auto healing, scaling, really orchestrate um, big parts of the, of the flow. But what if you wanted to run Kubernetes in a hybrid environment? What if what you had are microservices that are not all managed by Kubernetes? Or if your cloud was hybrid and of different technologies? What if you also wanted to add a few additional lifecycle stages, like monitoring, like auto scaling? And what if you wanted to have a single pane of glass to manage your entire environment? This is what we'll be talking about today with a demo. So um, if those are of interest, uh, Cloudify can come to the rescue. Cloudify is an open source product by Gigaspaces. Um, and it's an orchestrator based on Tosca. So we use Tosca, um, an emerging cloud standard, to model workloads. Um, Cloudify is technology agnostic. So as you can see in, in this diagram on the right, it can work on top of many different technologies. So whether it is cloud or base uh, virtualization, like bare metal, uh, whether we're talking about cloud native applications like we will today with containers or just VMs, Cloudify can manage that, um, while integrating with the entire DevOps tool chain. Um, you can use Cloudify to orchestrate the deployment, but then add to it additional lifecycle management stages, like monitoring, scaling, healing, um, and add custom workflows as you go. The architecture is very plug and play. And as we'll demonstrate, it was very easy to, to build an additional plugin for Kubernetes to manage hybrid workloads. Nope. <laughs> so without further ado, uh, we'll move to a demo. What we'll talk about is how to manage an application which is comprised of two services. One is MongoDB, one is Node.js. Um, we call it hybrid management on OpenStack because um, one of them is managed by Kubernetes and the other isn't. And we'll see how Cloudify can help in automating the, the flow of deployment and configuration, including setup of everything needed for Kubernetes and Docker, including the master and minion setup. Hi. So um, seems like the Wi-Fi here is kind of flaky, so we actually prepared in advance. Um, this is like the post-deployment stage. Um, we wanted to do this live, but uh, this is how it would look in the Cloudify UI post-deployment. Um, the application we're talking about is um, the no a node seller application. It's a simple web app, uh, which is comprised of two services, a MongoDB backend and um, uh, Node.js web server. And it's pretty much uh, just a wine seller sort of application. So um, it took about 10 minutes to run. Uh, just a moment. The, these are the logs of the deployment um, execution. Uh, so we d wouldn't have time to run it right now anyway. Um, and what we can see here, basically, is you have the MongoDB as a separate host, um, actually an entire separate tier for that matter. Um, and that tier is uh, managed completely by Cloudify. So Cloudify raised this host and the MongoDB inside of it. And then there is the other tier, which is um, everything which is Kubernetes related, which in this case contains two hosts. Uh, one is the master node, the other is a minion. Um, and the master node also includes the actual node seller application. Um, so how does this translate in the blueprint? So first of all, um, as we mentioned, um, 
the cl the plugin for Kubernetes is not part of it's not built in into Cloudify. Cloudify is a pure play orchestrator. It doesn't necessarily um, me, uh, like direct you to a, s a specific technology or um, tool. Um, so you you had to we had to actually write a plugin for Kubernetes. The plugin uh, w the work on it was relatively short. Um, this is um, just a moment. Right, I'm just going to show it elsewhere because I can't make the Wi-Fi work. So this is the actual definition of the plugin. Um, this is uh, Cloudify YAML. Um, basically, the, the plugin gives, gives you the infrastructure of three types of uh, building blocks. One is the master node. Uh, the other is a minion or just a regular node. And the third one is a microservice. So uh, all of these three, um, they relate directly to, uh, they map directly to Kubernetes types uh, and uh, terms. So once you have this, writing the actual blueprint, w which I just moved to, um, it becomes uh, relatively easy because most of the work is already done for you. So again, sorry for um, viewing it here, but I'm going over the 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 way we map the nodes for the for Cloudify to orchestrate it. So what we have here is a master host, um, which is what we saw here, basically. And the all of the mappings um, are done inside the blueprint. Um, basically, the the relevant part for uh, Kubernetes is the node seller um, node, which is defined as a microservice. Um, you can define in there basically either uh, the actual configuration of Kubernetes built in inside the Cloudify blueprint. Or you can use an external uh, YAML file. Um, once you have this, the important part about uh, what, what the plugin actually gives you is the ability to um, integrate Cloudify with Kubernetes in the sense that uh, we can map parameters from other services Cloudify is managing directly to Kubernetes. So in this case, we have the Node.js service, which is um, run by uh, Kubernetes. And we want to use um, MongoDB, which is uh, another microservice which is run by Cloudify. So for the, node, uh, for the Node.js um, service to be able to communicate with the Mongo one, we have to override um, some configuration parameters using, um, well, these two lines are basically what um, the plugin knows to to translate this and take the in this case the MongoDB IPN port and provide them to Kubernetes. So once it brings up Node.js, uh, it will know to connect to MongoDB. Um, let's see if the Wi-Fi happens to be back. Basically, I want to show the actual app. Let's see if it works. Right. Nothing. Um, OK. So what we're going to do is um, you have the, like, this is uh, the way we, we can see the hosts on OpenStack. Um, we have the MongoD host, the master host, the minion host. Um, and the master host also has the public IP. Uh, if I were able to connect to it right now, I'd show you the, that uh, Kubernetes is run over there. Um, we could see that um, um, the nodes, both the master node and the um, uh, minion node are both online. And um, the actual pod for the node seller app is run on the master host in this case because that's the way it was mapped um, in the blueprint. Um, OK.
Um, so that was our demo. Any questions? Great, so what we just saw is how to manage um, containers on a hybrid environment, uh, partly by Kubernetes, uh, partly not. Um, what we can also do is include in the blueprint that Ran just showed additional lifecycle stages. Uh, for example, the monitoring metrics that are, need to be collected, Cloudify can then collect them and uh, automatically react to events happening um, in runtime, uh, scaling and healing based on those. Um, so what you can really get is a, a full lifecycle management um, automation for each and every stage of the application. And um, that's it. So be sure to visit us in our booth, uh, 48. You can enter uh, to win a drone. Yeah, okay. that's it. Thanks. Thank you.